Hello, welcome to the Kansas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us this morning. Just a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening. Be sure to sign up for additional ones where you signed up for this one. And this presentation is being recorded. It'll be available within about a week at strivescan.com slash Kansas. I've gotten the housekeeping stuff out of the way. I will step out of the way and turn it over to our first presenter from Highland Community College. Good morning. Let me go ahead and get my screen shared here and we will jump in and get going. Okay. Good morning. My name is Stephanie Peterson. I'm Director of Admissions here at Highland Community College, and so it's good to be with you this morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Just a little bit about Highland. So here's a map of all of our locations. So you can see that we are located in the northeast corner of Kansas, and we do have some other um, kind of satellite locations, or we call them regional centers, um, and we offer lots of different options as far as modalities of learning. So you can take classes with us face-to-face, you can take technical classes for those hands-on focus training, online classes, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we also offer a hybrid option, which is a combination of the face-to-face -face and online. So a little bit about us by the numbers. Um, so you can see um, our vast reach um, in the bottom left corner of our alumni. So we actually have um, graduates all over the United States, um, as well as all over the world. So um, even though we are located here in our backyard in Kansas, um, we have a lot of far reaching um, folks out there. So who know about Highland and who have a benefited from our time here. So we um, do have a 56 to 44 percent female to male ratio. Um, 80 percent of our students have academic scholarships and we'll talk a bit more about that. Um, and then our student teacher ratio is about 17 to 1. Um, so in that you know that when you come to Highland you can have some small class sizes. You'll know your instructor and they'll know you as well. So a little bit about us as far as our cost. Um, we have our cost is kind of one simple cost of $120 a credit hour. That's for in-state or out-of-state students. That's for face-to-face -face or online. So um, we are very affordable. Of course, students can apply for financial aid um, to help cover the cost of attending at Highland, as well as we do have some foundation scholarships that are available to students as well. To jump past that one. So here's our different scholarship areas. So we do have these academic areas to the left. You can see those areas. They may be um, your major. They may be an area of participation. Um, any of that is great, honestly. Um, perhaps you enjoy art, but maybe you're not going to major in art. You can still receive an academic scholarship at Highland in that area. Um, that academic scholarship will cover your tuition and your book rental. So really helpful to help cover the cost of college. Um, you can also see we have athletic options. So our coaches recruit for students um, to play on their teams. Uh, we're part of the Jayhawk Conference and um, it's a great conference, a lot of great competition. Um, so that can actually um, offer scholarship dollars as well to help cover your cost of college. A little bit about our housing, it's all apartment style housing. So our most typical floor plan is a two bedroom apartment. You can see a few pictures here uh, just kind of overall, but I'd like to go ahead and show you our floor plan options. So that campus apartment, again, there's that two bedroom apartment. Um, typically you'll share a bedroom with another student. Um, so two people per bedroom, and then the four of you share your apartment. Um, so the four of you will share those common spaces. So living room, kitchen, and bathroom. Um, a really great opportunity to kind of take that first step out of the house see if you can live on your own, <laughs> clean on your own, sometimes cook on your own. We do have a cafeteria as well that provides meal plans for students, but sometimes it's fun to kind of experiment, cook, you know, meals for your apartment mates, or sometimes the apartment next door and invite everybody over. We have been very fortunate <laughs> with COVID, honestly, um, to be able to still have face-to-face -face classes um, and students have, have done really well. We're very thankful, but because of COVID, we have allowed more private bedroom options. So know that that's an option as well, if that's something that you would like to consider. 
Highland itself is a somewhat small town, um, but our um, housing on campus, we have about 460 students who live here in our apartment style housing. So we also have a lot of student life activities. Um, so you can see just a short list there of some of the different fun activities, um, deal or no deal, grocery bingo, those have all been <laughs> big hits here on campus. And then we also offer some of those intramural sport options as well. Um, if that is something that you'd like to continue, perhaps you played sports in high school and would like to continue. And this is just a small list, by no means all inclusive. So lots of opportunities. And our director of student life is always happy to kind of make things happen. So if there's something that you'd like to do that we already don't have as, as an option, you can just touch base with him and let him know that you're interested. Not only do we want you to get involved in the fun things uh, so that you can build those lifelong relationships, we also want you to go ahead and get involved in some different clubs and organizations. So these are some different options that are, are available on our campus. Um, those are great because they can help build your resume. Um, you can kind of get to know other people with some of those same like interests as you. So again, um, gain those leadership opportunities, all kinds of different things and areas to participate in. So you can see some of our fun pictures of our students there. We did mention athletics. So whether you're on the field or off the field, um, we'd love to have you come to a game. It's really busy here this semester. All of our athletics, most of them are happening now. Um, so it's fun uh, to be able to get out, support our Scotty Nation, um, and support your roommates, your classmates, um, and get out there and, and cheer for the Scotties. So kind of what's next? Um, we'd love to have you apply for admission, come for a campus visit, of, of course, complete your FAFSA, there's a housing and contract, oh, excuse me, housing contract and deposit that would be available. And tomorrow, um, our reservation form for our new student enrollment day opens up um, so that you could sign up for a time to come uh, get enrolled for fall classes. I'll put um, a link over in the chat if you'd like to request more information about Highland. Uh, but that's it for me. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a good day. Thank you very much. And I'll mention a couple things here. The Q&A is where you can ask questions of any of our representatives at any time. If it's for a specific school, just name the school in your question. And also, as was mentioned, take a look at the uh, chat and pay attention to that on occasion that uh, the reps will send you information using that. Up next, we'll hear from the representative from Creighton University. Terrific. Um, good morning. I hope everyone is seeing my slideshow. You should be. So good morning. My name is Amanda Kranz and I'm an Associate Director of Admission at Creighton University. Creighton is located in Omaha, Nebraska, but I'm actually a regionally based counselor and I work with students from all of Kansas from my home office in Kansas City. If you apply to Creighton, I'm the one who would actually read your application file as well. So Creighton is a Jesuit university and the Jesuits are the largest order of Catholic priests. You certainly do not have to be Catholic to attend Creighton or any one of the 27 Jesuit universities in the country. We have over 140 different academic programs at Creighton. We truly are a liberal arts school and students will receive a well-rounded education taught by professors, never TAs. We have about 4,500 undergraduate students and then another 4,400 graduate students on our campus. Our student to faculty ratio is 11 to one and our average class size is 24 students. 80% of our students come from out of our home state of Nebraska. And about half of those students will actually come from more than 400 miles from campus. Kind of a little fun fact, Hawaii is in our top five states for recruitment as well as California. Our undergraduate programs are in the College of Arts and Sciences, the Hyder College of Business, and the College of Nursing, which is a direct entry nursing program. We have our own dental school, law school, medical school, occupational therapy program, pharmacy, physical therapy, a physician's assistant program, a nurse practitioner's program, and a graduate school that all give preference to our undergraduate students. This is a big deal. For example, the acceptance rate from our undergrad into our medical school is around 60%. If students are applying outside of Creighton undergrad, the acceptance rate goes down to about 6%. We had 157 students apply to medical school last year, and this is actually more than Princeton, MIT, and Georgetown. The acceptance rate for our dental school is typically about 80% for our undergrads, and that goes down to about 10% for students outside of Creighton. 
we've developed an interprofessional approach to education. So we offer a team approach to healthcare education specifically. We want our students to have experience learning as a part of a healthcare team. We're building a second healthcare campus in Phoenix, Arizona. And when this is complete in late 2021, we will be the largest Catholic healthcare education provider in the country. Research is also very prevalent at Creighton. We were voted one of the top schools in the country for undergraduate research opportunities. And we want our undergrads to come in and start engaging in research freshman year if they are ready. Our Hyder College of Business is well connected in the Omaha community. All of our business professors have practical experience and we actually have six chartered financial analysts on faculty, which is more than any other business school in the world. We offer two practicums on campus, the IJ Apple Store practicum, which is unique to our campus where students actually run an Apple Store. We have the only student run Apple Store in the country. Um, and then we also have an investment practicum where students invest 6.5 million of our school's endowment through nine Bloomberg terminals set up live to the New York Stock Exchange. Omaha was voted number one city for paid internships, and there are more internships than we have students to fill them. Omaha is home to four, five, four Fortune 500 companies with another 50 to 60 with operations there too. We're also voted the number one city for new college graduates because it's a fun place to live. There are lots of job opportunities and the cost of living is low. We have over 250 different clubs and organizations, including sorority and fraternity life, club and intramural sports, and many leadership opportunities. Students are required to live on campus for the first two years, and we have a very vibrant residential campus with that national student body. Our students are actively engaged in service, and we also have our own retreat center about 20 miles from campus. We are Division I Athletics, part of the Big East Conference. Uh, we actually went to the Sweet 16 this year, which was very exciting. But typically, we get over 18,000 fans at every home men's basketball game. So you can kind of see a picture of that there. We're also the host of the College World, World Series for baseball. And we also have club and intramural sports. And students get into all of our home athletic events uh, free of charge. We offer many different study abroad opportunities, including our Global Scholars Program, where students spend two semesters away and two summers away in their four years with us. We're really proud of our student outcomes. Oops, going back, we're really proud of our student outcomes, 99% success rate for the College of Arts and Sciences and the Hyder College of Business, and then a 100% success rate for the College of Nursing. You can apply to Creighton through the common application, uh, or we do have our own online application. We actually went test optional in uh, 2019. So we've been test optional for a couple of years now. We encourage you to apply, even if you haven't had the opportunity to take a test. Um, you know, still there are some issues with testing and availability because of COVID. Um, and so I just wanna assure you that students without a test score are still competitive for admission as well as merit scholarship. This is a little bit of information in terms of the deadlines that we work on. You can see the big ones to keep in mind, November 1st is our early action deadline. If you have a complete file with us by November 1st of your senior year, then you will hear back from us by December 15th. Uh, and then also another important one is December 1st. That's our priority scholarship deadline. So if you want scholarship consideration, uh, it is very important to meet that deadline. And then all students you have until May 1st to make that final decision. This last slide is just me and my contact information. Uh, so please don't hesitate to reach out if I can help with anything at all. Thank you very much. And again, Q&A is where you can ask questions of our representative. Do that at any time. Up next, we'll hear from the representative from Flint Hills Technical College. Good morning, everybody. Uh, get my screen going. I'm so glad to be here with you today. So my name is Brian Crouch, and I am representing Flint Hills Technical College. Just a second here. All right, here we go. So we are located here in Emporia, Kansas. Uh, we are in the east central part of Kansas, right on I-35. And we're real excited to be um, here today sharing with you about the trades and the programs that we have to offer you. 
So we are a smaller campus. This is our main building here. We have about four buildings on this campus. Uh, we have about 700 students that attend Flint Hills Tech College. So you're going to get a nice personalized education when you come here at FH2C. So this is a nice view from the back of campus here in Emporia. Now we have grown and outgrown this, this main campus and we've had to expand to a downtown campus. Uh, we actually have four programs here in the downtown campus. Uh, these programs can be taken face-to-face -face or online. One of those programs is very unique. It's called Power Plant Technology. And I'll talk a little bit more about that here in a minute. This is our South Campus. It houses our welding facility. It's an 18,000 square foot building. And we can get about 50 to 60 welding students inside this facility. We're really proud of this program. And uh, we've even expanded uh, to another town. Our outreach program at this moment is in Garnett. We've partnered with Anderson County High School to start training automotive technicians over in Garnett, Kansas. Now, we are HLC accredited. That's very important. Uh, most students don't realize that you can attend a technical college and still pursue more education in the future. Because we have that accreditation, our credits will transfer. We have many two plus two agreements with universities around the state of Kansas where you can transfer these technical credits out and still obtain a bachelor's degree. We do have a small 14 to 1 ratio. That is very important. As you are attending here, we want to make sure you're getting that one on one attention with the experts in your field so that you are job ready and ready to get out into them and be employed. We have a 96% job placement rate. Currently, there's more jobs than there are students in these technical fields. So it is easy to obtain employment. It's just a matter of where you want to work. Now, we do have scholarships just like any other institution. So we have a strong foundation that provides a nice scholarship uh, opportunities for you. Uh, we want you to apply at fhtc.edu slash scholarships. Now, keep in mind, high school students can start early here on campus. You can start as early as your junior year. Now, if you're not in the area where you can come on campus, you can start taking our online programs and get a jump start on your college career. We want to make sure you can do that so you can get high school credit and college credit at the same time. Now, of course, if you are in the area, we want to make sure that we get you on campus, get you in our labs, in our clinics. We are a hands-on college. We want to make sure you can experience that opportunity to get and learn what we're talking about in the classroom in the lab as well. So we offer online evening and weekends. We want to make sure you get a wide variety. And of course, we do have the traditional daytime hours as well. Now, if you are in high school, we want to make sure to tell you about the tech ed free tuition, the CTE funds that the state of Kansas offers. So if you attend one of our programs, either online or face-to-face, -face, you can get your tuition paid for while you're still in high school. Now we have 19 programs here at FHTC, and we have four divisions. Our first division is Division of Arts, where we have Graphic Arts, Hospitality and Culinary Arts, Hospitality and Dietary Management, and Multimedia Design. In our Health Division, we have Dental Assisting and Dental Hygiene. We're one of four schools in the state that have dental hygiene, so again, another unique program. Emergency Services Technology, Healthcare Administration Management, Health Occupations Technology, and Practical Nursing. Our Industry Technology Division, Automotive Technology, in two cities, computerized machine tool engineering, industrial engineering, power plant technology, another unique program to FHTC, and then of course I mentioned the welding program already. Our information technology division has our business program, computerized, uh, I'm sorry, computer program design, and of course network technology. We want you to go and apply for admissions. Our application at FHTC is completely free. So if you go to our website at fhtc.edu slash apply, you can fill out that application at any time. We have already started processing applications. In fact, we've already started enrolling students for incoming semester next fall. So we want you to be part of the regular family. So please go fill out that application. Also on our website, you'll find all kinds of information about the academics, about uh, social life, about uh, admissions, academic calendar, FAFSA scholarships, so our website is really a nice tool for you to explore and see all the different things that we have to offer you when you're in, come, coming into our campus uh, this fall. So please take a moment and go to our website and see what you might need. Uh, if you have any questions, you can sure reach out to us and we'll be happy to answer those along the way. 
So Mount FHTC, again, we're a small campus, uh, about 700 students located in Emporia. We want you to see us on social media, reach out to us, find us there. We do a lot of news releases there, uh, maybe some new two plus twos or a new culinary kitchen that we just invested $2 million in. We will be sharing that here on social media here in the next few days. My contact information is there. Feel free to reach out to me via text, phone, or email, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have about Flint Hills Technical College. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions for any of our representatives, just make sure to use the uh, Q&A button. And if it's for a specific school, just make sure to name the school in your question. Up next, we'll hear from the representative from University of Central Missouri. All right, hi everybody. Go ahead and get started and see. Okay, so for those of you guys who have not heard about the University of Central Missouri, we are located in Warrensburg, Missouri. It's about an hour away from the Kansas City area. Um, we are a mid-sized school, about 10,000 students between our undergrad and grad students attend. Um, to get from one end of the campus to the other, it's only about a 10 minute walk. So that was something um, I personally really appreciated when I went there. Um, I got my bachelor's and my master's at UCM. Um, one of the reasons for that being, we have over 150 different programs. So when I was in your guys' shoes and I was looking for a college, something that was really important to me was being able to have a lot of different options in terms of not only the majors that were available to me, but also the general education op options that I'd be taking as classes. So some of our top five majors that we offer are gonna be education, business, nursing, aviation, and criminal justice. Um, fun fact about UCM in 1871, we were founded and we started out as a teacher's college. So if you are looking for a place to do education, we are one of the best places in the state of Missouri to do that. Um, simply because we've been doing it for over 150 years. Um, some of the other random programs that we offer and may not be able to see as well. Um, we have some really great computer science options. Um, we have some subcategories under that. So it would be like gaming would be a really good one for that or um, network uh, science for that. We also have some pre-professional programs too. So I'll move on to some of the other areas of UCM that students choose. Um, we also have a study abroad program in Honors College, if that is something you guys are looking into. Um, Honors College benefits, you get early enrollment privileges, um, and you also get funding for your research and creative work. So that's going to be um, very helpful if you guys are looking into a graduate school or just wanting to add some extra stuff to um, your resume after graduation. Um, I'll talk a little bit about our campus. So this is one of Part of going to college is obviously doing your major there, but um, the other half of it is the experience you get with that as well. So at UCM, it is a very vibrant campus. We have 14 different residence halls. They're all the same size, um, same furniture, same everything. So not one is better than the other. And then we also have 14 different dining options. So between our two, um, our two, um, uh, dining halls and then also our restaurants on top of that there's a lot of different options there and then we also have what's something that's called special housing interest program so if you're wanting to live with students in your major um, we have those options available as well as um, safe and inclusive housing too um, we were voted one of the safest college campuses for the state of missouri in 2019 and we've still kept that distinction um, so even when i went there it was a very safe place to be, which is something um, I really liked. You could get escorted across campus at night if that was something you wanted to do with our safe team. Um, I'll get into our student organizations. So we have over 200 student organizations. So about 150 different majors, 200 student, or student organizations. Um, some of those being, most of them being academic or departmental. So for all those 150 different majors that we have, there's a student organization that goes with that. Um, pre life is also really big on our campus as well. We have probably about 20 different organizations between um, Panhellenic um, and then the other Greek life organizations. So um, if that's something you're looking into doing, 
a really good option to do it at UCM. It's also very affordable compared to most other colleges in terms of just joining Greek life. Um, and then intramural sports, those are also free to do. So every student organization has funding for campus. So if you're wanting to put on something with that organization, usually you get funding for it as well. Um, I'll get into our advising model. So we are one of the first schools in the state of Missouri to have an accredited counseling center. So that means all your advising needs for academic, plus you get your tutoring for free, free career counseling, and then free mental health and wellness services as well. So everything in one location, um, like it says, more support and fewer obstacles. Um, affordability is one of the main reasons why most students choose UCM as well. Um, our typical yearly costs are going to be about 18,000 a year. So um, tuition and general fees, this is how we compare nationally with other schools. Um, and this is based per year, not per semester. Um, our textbook prices are flexible, residence hall meal plan, that's not something you guys will be doing every single year. But um, for the essence of time, I'll get into more of the scholarship aspect of it. So our scholarships are all, all automatic. Um, we also have test optional admissions as well, like most other schools, um, especially with COVID, ACT became something that most students were not taking. So um, we do have these options as well. I'll get into one of the most important things. If you guys live in any state that touches the state of Missouri, you get in-state tuition. So you, most students don't pay any out-of-state fees with that. If you guys are in a network of schools that accept A+, we have that too, as well as a dual credit scholarship. Um, and then the Warrensburg community in general is a college town. It's a super fun um, place to be. It's really com connected to the community and also very affordable to live in. Um, and then steps to apply, pretty much all you guys need to do is send your um, high school transcript in mostly, and then the application is very quick. There's no um, tests or essay or anything, but if you guys have any questions, here is my contact info. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I would like to invite our representatives to come back on camera and turn on their microphones as we have a few extra minutes here to uh, uh, include some Q&A, little value added stuff. And I get to play talk show host. We can get some more information for those attending live and others who are accessing this through the uh, recording on demand. And we'll start, we'll have you answer in the same order that you presented. And we'll, uh, you know, start with a question that I think it's helpful to everybody, but what advice would you give someone going through the college search process right now? We'll start with Highland Community College. Okay. Um, well, so I would encourage students, um, I know you do, can do um, a lot of research online. So, and often your high school kind of helps direct that. So that's awesome. Continue to do that. And then my best advice, I think, would be to visit that campus actually. So once you step on campus, you can often meet the staff, meet the faculty, kind of look around and see if it's a good fit for you. Um, so I would just encourage you to take um, advantage of those high school college visit days that you have um, so that you can just kind of make a good choice for you. And two, my last thought, <laughs> please know it's not a pressure filled situation when you come. Um, we're all here to help you make a good decision. And so that's what our job is. And that's what we wanna help you do. Again, make a good decision for you to be happy. Creighton University. Yeah, so my advice, of course, you know, being one of the two out of state and we're perhaps a little bit farther in Nebraska, although not that much than Missouri. So the two of us are your out of state options. But um, I would just encourage you to really be flexible and expand your search. You have lots of great schools in Kansas, don't get me wrong, but there's lots of great schools in the states surrounding. And so don't be afraid to look outside of your home state. You may find that school that's the best fit for you. Um, and particularly if you are very interested in being surrounded by students who are coming from across the country and maybe not uh, just from your home state. Um, so I just encourage you to be flexible and maybe look outside of the box as well. Flint Hills Technical College. Yeah, so being a smaller college, uh, first thing is make sure that your institution has the major that you want to study uh, is an important part of it. And then uh, transferability. Uh, make sure that uh, if you want to uh, transfer those credits onto one of these universities, then we have that opportunity so that you don't lose time, money, and credits along the way. 
And then, of course, if you're just looking for uh, job ready and trades, uh, then don't discount a technical college or community college that has these uh, fields where we're more hands on and technical based. So, uh, opportunities there are, are, are very vast and with great salaries in a lot of these technical fields. University of Central Missouri. So you guys are already doing the important work by attending these things um, and learning about the colleges. That's the first step. Um, a good second step with that, um, I would say before you actually go out and visit, a good way to narrow that down is doing virtual visits. Um, that's a really great way to get some more information, maybe just at your own pace. And then from there, you can make a really informed decision on whether or not you'd like to visit that school. Sounds good. Our next question I will share here and will a little more fun, not that advice isn't fun, but your favorite event or tradition on campus. And we'll go back to Highland Community College. Okay. Well, so I think our favorite, my favorite tradition, and I think the students would say the same, uh, we have bagpipers uh, lead our graduates uh, into the ceremony. So I think that's neat. We're the Highland Scotties. So that kind of goes along um, with our Scottish background. <laughs> Sounds good. And Creighton University. Sure. So as you may remember hearing me say during the presentation portion, um, Hawaii is a very big state for enrollment for us at Creighton. Believe it or not, in Omaha, Nebraska, we have lots of students from Hawaii. And so therefore, a big tradition on our campus every year is the luau. Um, and that happens in the spring. In fact, I think it's going to be happening here in a couple of weeks on campus. And uh, we have Huio Hawaii, which is the club um, on campus. And you do not have to be from Hawaii. To join. If you have an interest, you are welcome. Um, and they put on a big luau. Their parents, some of the parents fly in and they actually cook. So they do the full pig and things like that as well. Um, they have a little Hawaiian store. So you can buy like the macadamia nuts and things like that, that people bring. So it's just always a really fun tradition for us um, and celebrates the fact that we do have so many students from Hawaii with us. Flint Hills Technical College. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Uh, one of our great traditions is happening right now. It's March Madness. Uh, we don't have sports on campus, so uh, we have beat the president. And so everybody has to fill out a bracket. And if you can beat the president, uh, you get a free meal. And sometimes he prepares that. Um, this year, we have to do t-shirts. It's kind of lame. Can't do the whole gathered meal deal. But uh, yeah, so we try and beat the president. He's currently in 18th place going to the final four. So we are doing well so far. University of Central Missouri. So our mascot, we have a live mascot. It's We're the Mules. So um, one of the cool uh, traditions of our campus is we have a giant mule statue. And so when students start attending UCM, it's good luck to rub its nose. And then when they graduate from UCM, um, they do that again. And a lot of students take pictures on top of it, which is kind of a little fun tradition as well. So then this is our little hand signal for go mules. Mm -hmm. And our third question uh, to in our Q&A is related to the last one, but an interesting or fun fact about your school. And we'll start with Highland Community College. So we were the first college in Kansas established in 1858. So that's kind of an interesting fact about us. Creighton University. Darn it, usually Hawaii is my fun fact too. I can't keep saying that though. So <laughs> I would say a fun fact um, is that we actually rank number five in the country for attendance at our men's basketball games. And that's in all of the NCAA. So the atmosphere at our men's basketball games is electric in Omaha. What Hills Technical College? We are one of the first technical schools in Kansas and also uh, we are in the top five according to Aspen Institute Technical Colleges in the nation. And University of Central Missouri. Uh, fun fact about us is we have our own airport a mile away from campus. So um, as a part of one of our majors, our students get to learn how to fly in single-engine, multi-engine aircraft. And then there's also a big 737 simulator on our campus. So it's a cool thing to sit in and try to learn how to fly it. Well, thank you all for sharing not just the fun facts about your school, but uh, the advice and all of the information for each of your institutions. 
I want to thank everyone for joining us for this session. When you close this window, there'll be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this is just one of many different sessions happening today. Be sure to sign up for additional ones at the same place you signed up for this one. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording at strivescan.com slash Kansas. Once again, thank you to each of our presenters for joining us and sharing great information today. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. Take care.